Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. This video today is about the speakers. So it was what you all wanted. I ordered the speakers. Uh, it's gonna be a multiple video sort of install. So it's not just gonna be a full long 30 minute video all over the place. What I'm gonna do is this video right here, it's gonna be unboxing it, showing you guys the speakers, and talking to you all about the process that I went through, why I chose to do crutch field, uh, how they chose everything for me, why I chose the speakers that I chose, and why I'm just doing speakers right now instead of speakers, amp, head unit, sub, all that stuff. So that's what this video is gonna be. The other videos are gonna be door panel removal, installation of speakers, and then basically the sound and how I think of everything. So how I'm gonna do this is I'm just gonna film everything, and then what I'm gonna do is chop it all up and put it into a playlist. So the playlist link will be somewhere in the iCard up here. And I'll also put a link down in the description for you guys to access the playlist and all the products that I use to do this install. Our speakers, three brackets with hardware, brackets. All right guys, and it's all unboxed. So what we got, for the front doors we have six by nine. So these are two-way speakers as well. These guys are super medium thick. These are about $80. Uh, then they came with their free brackets and free speaker adapter uh, harness and then for the rear doors and the back cargo door they're both five and a quarter speakers that I went with and uh, these are also both two-way speakers came with their own brackets as well and then we have the tweeters so how much for all of that $209 was the total. I'll put everything right here on the screen for you guys, which you could go more or you could go less. You could get cheaper speakers, you could get more expensive speakers, but the reason why I went with these Rockford Fosgate speakers is one, I know they're great. I don't know if they were these particular speakers that I heard in a friend's truck. Uh, he has a Nissan Titan uh, with the Rockford upgraded system, but they sounded really, really good. Uh, another reason why I went with them is because I wanted Focal at first, but I'm not doing an amp right away and certain speakers when you get up there are very power hungry and they could sound worse. So these were a happy medium to where they're not cheap and they're not power hungry and they'll work with your head unit. So some of the main reasons why I went with Crushfield, the first reason is it's complete DIY. Uh, you get to pick the system how you want it, you get to pick the speakers how you want it. Uh, if it's only the front speakers, only the back speakers, uh, they come with brackets and everything. Everything that you need to do this job, including installation guides for your specific vehicle, they give you. The second reason why I went with them is the customer service. I'll say it right now, I have no idea what the heck I'm doing. <laughs> but I was on the phone with the guy, Dino, for about 45 minutes and he helped me piece together this whole system. I told him I wanted great speakers, I wanted it to be cost effective, and I want it to be easy enough for me to be able to do it in my garage to put on my YouTube for everyone else. And again, we were on the phone for about 45 minutes. We came down to these speakers, which were probably number two or three on my list. And uh, they were actually fairly priced. And so we just pulled the trigger and he helped me out and included all the free mounting hardware and everything like that. So their customer service was off the chart. And if I have any issues, he said, uh, he gave me his number in the email and he said just call me while you're installing it and I'll walk you through it basically. The third reason, uh, kind of how I alluded to in the other reasons, was is, is price. So $209 for two, four, six, eight speakers, the whole vehicle, uh, which is very, very good with the hardware, with the mounting brackets, and with the speaker wire adapters. So that right there alone is what people want when they go to the OEM Audio Plus or the Taco Tunes. Uh, they want just a complete plug and play system that they can do by themselves. And this essentially is that. Is it fully plug and play? We'll see. Uh, I think I do have to splice some wires. Um, but if if so, it's, it's not that bad, especially for the difference in price. So yes, those other systems do come with a built-in amp. Uh, they come with a ported sub box and all that but I wanted to do it this way first to basically build your system as you need it. Uh, if you only want back speakers, front speakers, only your tweeters, something like that, that's why I wanted to do it this way for you guys. So this was basically just the intro video to it. Feel free to follow along in the playlist for door panel removal. No matter what system you go with, you're gonna have to remove your doors for the speaker installation and reactions and stuff to this actual system. So 
I appreciate you guys stopping by for this series. If you're new around here, feel free to subscribe, and I will catch you guys in the next video. All right, see you later.